my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to part 4 on testing central heating systems. So today's video we're going to be talking about these. So these are the Furnox Express Inhibitor Test Strips. And I'd just like to thank Claire from Furnox for sending me these. Now Furnox aren't sponsoring this, they've just sent me these to test and to do a little video. So, without further ado, let's stop waffling and messing around and get on and find out exactly what these do. So, like I say, it's the Furnox Express Inhibitor Test Kit. So it has a product number of 62514. So what does it do? So basically this product is what it says on the tin. It's a test to see if your central heating system has got any inhibitor in it. It will test all Furnox products, but it will also test only molybdate based inhibitors. I think that's how you say it anyway. So it's an easier and intrusive use. It is quick and a simple test method to establish the presence of the inhibitor within the heating system. So we're basically testing the concentration of this inhibitor and it allows with the compliance of BS7593 2019, the benchmark scheme. And it may also be required by the manufacturers. So inside we have these little strips here. So when used in conjunction with the Furnox water test app, which we had a look at in our last video, and we'll also have a look at it again. We can basically download that from the Apple Store or Google Play. The single usage on-site heating system test can be saved with the app and the laboratory style certificate available to be downloaded or passed by your email to your customer. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna dip this in some central heating system and then we're going to use this on the side, this indicator on the side, to test whether we've got enough inhibitor in. So let's have a look and see what we've got to do next. Now these strips have been designed so when we go to service a boiler, we can be checking our inhibitor levels because according to the British standards and the benchmark scheme now, every year when we go back to um, service our boilers, what we've installed or whoever has installed them, we need to test how much inhibitors we've got. Also, that will help with um, manufacturers if they get call out to them, they're not going to say we're not fixing it because it's got no inhibitor in it. So we need to make sure we're doing it. Also, we're going to be doing the turbidity test. So we're going to use our Furnox turbidity tube to test that. And we need to get some water from the system. Now you can get the water from the radiator or you can get it from the drain or you can get it from the magnetic filter. And we're going to get it from the magnetic filter today just because it makes it easier if you're doing a service because you wouldn't need to be draining it from radiators. But it also says if you do take it from a filter, you've got to make sure that the water isn't contaminated by any kind of um, magnetic residue. We're just going to be testing the inhibitor concentration. So we'll do a turbidity test first, see what that's like, because that's what we're going to do on services now to see whether it's still clean. And then we're going to use the test strips to see how much inhibitor actually is in the system. So this clip is taken from part one of these videos where I actually put inhibitor into the system and I've actually used another well-known brand of inhibitor and I wanted to do this just to make sure and see whether the new Furnox strips actually do what they say on the tin and they will check the levels of any inhibitor. So that's why we've chosen this part of the system because there's no Furnox inhibitor in there. Judge to perfection as they say. Tighten that back up. Close off the vent. 
open up the valves. Bleed out the top. This is now ready to put on for at least 15 minutes to get it to circulate around and then we'll take this sample. So I've isolated the valves, I've opened the bleed, just going to take out the magnet. And you can see there is a little bit of magnetite still on, on there. It's like every time when you open this up. Now, I need to get my little cup. So, I'm just going to take a sample using this little cup because I can get it in. Oh, it's a bit frothy. And I'll pour that in the turbidity tube. Hmm. It's a bit cloudy and a yellow colour so I wonder if that's the inhibitor we put in but it's definitely cloudy so I'll leave that for a few minutes so I've filled it up to the just past the mark let's leave it for a few minutes and see what it comes out like so if you look at the water in the turbidity tube you can see we can only just about see the bottom okay now I don't know whether this is all inhibited what's in here because if you saw parts one you'll see we dosed massively on this heating system so I don't think it's magnetite I think it's more that the inhibitor so let's dip the test strip in and let's find out what results we get so this is how we're going to do it so it says dip the strip into the system water for one second and remove Number two, it says shake off the excess liquid. And then it says, number three, compare the colour chart within 10 seconds. So we're going to compare it with that within 10 seconds. And then it says, Furnox protector level should be over 100 ppm. So we should be this, I don't know, is that orange? Anyway, should be this orangey colour. And it said the test strip should be less than 100 ppm. Add additional Furnox protector. And then it says submit via the Furnox water test app. So we'll look at that in a minute. So let's get a strip out. So there's a test strip. It says dip it in the water for a second. Shake off the excess. And then compare with... Oops, he says nearly knocking over the turbidity. That's why it's an orange colour. So the levels are definitely over... 150 because it's darker than 100 and it's slightly darker than that so let's test it now with the app now if you haven't got the app this is the QR code so basically if you just get your phone put it on camera and then put your phone on there and it will automatically take you straight to the app so how good's that and then I've already got it so we can just open it so if you haven't got the app that even takes you to the app store for it so let's have a look at the app let's get back onto the main screen so you can see the main screen so here's the main screen so you can see these are the tests from the other videos I did and you can see it failed the last test so let's have a look at the new one so we go down to the right section and now we can put all the details in so we'll put Tomcat here I'm looking for the boiler which was a valent so there, down at the bottom so we've got valent next one we want to put a serial number in we'll just put one two three four so age of the boiler is between two and ten years so we'll put that in the address so it's ol6 seven 
SS. Go down to which one it is. Get off. I didn't ask you to come on. And back down to Tomcat at the bottom. So we now got the address in. We can now take a picture of the sample. So you can see it's actually gone darker. Now we've gone over the 10 seconds. So there's a picture. We'll just use this picture because I can't be bothered taking another one. It's only a test. So there you go. There's a picture. And then we are greater than 150 parts per million. And we'll submit it. Because we've now accepted the people have said we can do it. So we can now submit it. There you go. And it now says we've passed. And it stores a picture there for us for the future. Now let's have a look at the email that Fernox sends you after you've completed your test. So they send out this standard email. But at the bottom of the email is an attachment. And if you open the attachment, it's pretty much all the information what was on the app. So it has the address of the place, it has the um, boiler, how old the boiler is, and your results. So you can then email this off to your customer. So they have a copy. And that is how easy it is to do the test for inhibitor using this Express Inhibitor Test Kit. Now the cheapest I could find these on the internet was £22.50. The most I saw them though was 38 quid. So they're not really that expensive. But we need them now to comply with the regulations and the benchmark scheme to test our inhibitor levels when we're doing a service. Remember every five years you'll have to put complete new inhibitor in, whether it passes the test or whether it doesn't. So that is how easy it is to use these strips. So if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you've not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we release videos mainly on Mondays and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks to watch, thanks to watching, but thanks for watching, and thanks to Claire from Fernox again for sending me these for free. Cheers guys.